Today's show is sponsored by the ABV Barrel Shop. The ABV Barrel Shop is located in the St. Louis metro community of Arnold, Missouri. The ABV Barrel Shop is focused on one thing, single barrels. Best of all, you can try before you buy. Head over to abvbarrelshop.com to sign up for their email and text distribution so you know what they have in stock, what classes are coming up, and who from the industry may be coming in to visit. The ABV Barrel Shop, it's where single barrels live. We are also sponsored by The Bar to Go. The Bar to Go offers traveling mini bars that are no bigger than a small purse or toiletry bag. Best of all, they are fully customizable so you can create the perfect piece that is unique for you. If you own your own business, what a fun and unique way to promote what you do. Check them out online at thebartogo.com. That is the number two in the bar to go. If you have wholesale questions, call my friend Isabel Clark at 504-481-1297. Finally, we are sponsored by the Neely Family Distillery. NFD is a family-owned business that keeps ringing up awards in the spirits world. Head to Sparta, Kentucky to experience the family history, award-winning spirits, and meet the Neely family. Check them out online at neelyfamilydistillery.com. Now, on to the show. Let's drink! Welcome to the Bourbon Daily, the podcast about everything bourbon delivered to you every day of the week. Today on the show, we respond to the fact that there was another article about Costco's great bourbon prices, <laughs> this time in Men's Journal. <laughs> so at this point, clearly, we know they are paying for this. We know. <laughs> Let's establish some prices uh, for our in-show service, to, <laughs> so maybe we can get some of the Costco money. My Costco name money. is Miss Becca Sue. Please join me in welcoming my co-host, Steve Akeley, as well as our special guest, Darren McRoy. Ryan Thompson, and potentially Della Fane. Maybe Della. Hey, gang, what's up? <laughs> what's howdy. up, guys? Howdy, howdy. howdy. Hey, oh, so Della's uh, missing in action right now. We're hoping that uh, she'll jump on. Um, she lives in Phoenix, and, of course, they famously, you know, uh, they follow the time. They're like one hour behind where I live some of the time of the year, two hours another time. I think it gets confusing as to what time shit is. They don't do daylight savings at all. Yeah. Right, right. So so Della got messed up last time she was on, and I bet you more than anything she got messed up this time. We'll see Most what likely. happens. And, you know, God bless Arizona for doing that. I've always admired that. But um, yeah, it right. certainly does make things a bit confusing. I think they're right about getting rid of uh, getting rid of um, uh, daylight savings, but we all got to get rid of it. You can't yeah. just have like one huge metropolitan area to be like, we're not doing right. this, and then everybody else, oh. everybody else is not doing it. It just messes yeah. things up. So I, they're they're right in their thought process. It wasn't, uh, but uh, it wasn't executed correctly, though. I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, well, they're trying to be the leaders, I guess. So we'll see. We'll so see yeah, if we're with blessed the, with her presence. What's that? Sorry. I said we'll see if we're blessed with her presence. Uh, yeah, we may or may not. Who knows? Maybe <laughs> she just forgot to. I don't. I, we don't really know the situation at this point. So we'll see. So yeah, this is uh, Costco, and and we we want to we want to get some of this Costco money. I see all this Costco money just being spread out out there. We want to get some of this. So we're going to establish some prices today. We're going to throw some numbers out. And if they meet our quotes, they'll, 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 they know how to get a hold of us. So we provide our contact information at the end. And yeah, we, we might start getting some of these Costco checks. We'll see. We'll see. We'll get into that uh, after the break, though. For right now, Ryan said there's something he want to talk about. What is that, sir? Well, yeah, for uh, for the, the three others that are on the call that have the uh, visual, um, you can see that I'm not in my normal location. Right. And I have a nice little babbling brook to my, to my, over my shoulder there. <laughs> Yeah, of course. And uh, some other <laughs> random <laughs> residences going on. And, of course. And uh, so I'm out in the woods. Uh, and I am in a place. And if you guys can name the national park that I am right outside of, I'll be impressed. So I am in Columbia Falls, Montana. So you're Great right details. outside of Glacier National Park. <laughs> Darren wins the prize. Nice <laughs> He's a forestry done, major, for God's sake. So, yeah. oh, wow. Well, I'm yeah. impressed. Man. They, they kind of have to know the National Park. is one parks. of my favorite parks. Yeah. There you go. It's incredible. Uh, so I came here for a little business thing for a couple days and then stayed for the weekend and uh, just have been touring around Glacier. It is absolutely incredible. Uh, Are you thinking about buying so, it? 
Yeah, that's what, <laughs> that's what I wanted to talk about. <laughs> I like how Steve <laughs> phrased that, buying it, as in the entire, entire national yeah, park. Yeah, just buy the yeah. national park. I mean, you I mean, know, everything's for sale if the if the number's right. Lord. So just sharpen your pencil. You can buy that thing. <laughs> oh. We'll all hang out there then. That'll be great. Yeah. My, uh, my, that sounds like a great idea. We all, uh, everyone's invited. Uh, yeah. My question is, are, uh, are you national park folk? And if you are, what's your favorite national park out there? Ah, I, think I, I have famously hate national parks. I've never been to one. Yeah. Th- that's not true. Um, <laughs> I love national parks, but so I, my longtime answer is Yellowstone. I love Yellowstone. I went there when I was like nine and I've been back like three times since. Mm. And it's fantastic and gorgeous, but I'm actually going to go off beating trail and say something different. I'm going to okay. say um, Mammoth Cave. Mammoth Cave. Really? Where is it, that? It's so different than Kentucky. a lot of the national parks. And is it, it a cool national park? I, I thought it was just a Kentucky. I thought it was a state park. It's national. Yeah, no. it, it's a national park. That's cool. Congrats to Kentucky on scoring a big one there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice, nice. Okay, that's cool. Um, I, I gotta go Yellowstone. I don't know. That place is magical, man. Yeah. It's wild. So yeah, I, I like that. Uh, best park name is Grand Tetons, of course. I mean, that's the. Of course. <laughs> it sounds like you're. <laughs> talking about something right right she's got those grand tetons you yes, know? yes 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 <laughs> nice eyes nice eyes yeah i i like yellowstone i like i like the accommodations there too the whole lodges and stuff like that yeah. i like i like the the natural wonders that are there it's just it's a cool place for sure so and great history of course uh tied to u.s history so uh, I love that place. And I'm a big national park fan, and uh, I'm getting I'm closing in on where I can get that ten dollar national park pass. It'll get me in any one for a lifetime. So once Ooh. I once I hit the minimum age, man, I'm buying. So I don't, I think it's sixty two, I think, or something. Yep. So I think that so, is the age. Yeah. So I'm I'm working on that. Uh, I'm, yeah. <laughs> have you been to Glacier? I've been to Glacier. I have. Yes. Yes. It's great. I love it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I've been to I've been to a lot of them, uh, but that's kind of a quest too to do all you know get to all of them too. Mm-hmm. Uh, that'd be kind of cool. So, so yeah, yeah. But that's a retirement thing. So yes, uh, uh, Becca, how about you? National park fan, and if so, uh, what's your yeah, favorite? I I it would be weird to be someone that like dislikes national parks. I think mm-hmm. that'd be a strange. Someone's like, no, right. I fucking hate national parks. That'd be a weird thing. Um, I mean, I've got to go with my states, which is uh, the Theodore Roosevelt National Park, which is the Badlands. It's beautiful. Like, it's it's just so surprisingly beautiful there. I know that, like, people are like, of course you'd say that you're from North Dakota. No, it's like... I've been there. All of a sudden, you, like, come over this, like, hill, and all of a sudden, you're just like, what the fuck is all this? Stupid gorgeous, And all of a sudden, you're just in it, and you're like, what the hell is this? And it's just, it's it's so pretty, and it's unexpected and beautiful and i think that a lot of people it's made a lot of people enjoy north dakota which is cool there you go there you go yeah becca sue that's what i think i always think about that like the first people that came across these national parks right the the wanderers out there the explorers uh darren what's the guy's name oh the, the um winter- yeah uh lewis the and clark guys yeah yeah thank you Lewis. like uh, that's what I thought guy. he was saying, but he said the guy. I was thrown off. He's like, you know, Sorry, the, the guys, guys, you. The guys <laughs> yeah, that the were guys, just wandering around. <laughs> <laughs> like you're wandering through like some plains, and all of a sudden you come across this national, like these, this geography out of nowhere. Like, <laughs> what the hell? Well, yeah, yeah the Badlands. The Badlands looks like you're on the moon or something. Yeah, yeah. and also right? it was it was probably crazy, and also like, oh fuck, because you can't get a wagon through there. <laughs> right. <laughs> totally. Like. The geography of it is is treacherous. Yeah. <laughs> Do you imagine like, seeing like the hot pools at Yellowstone for the first time? Oh, like, fuck. The hell and are thinking rights? it's water and then you're it's fucking acid. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. Jokes on yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. Jokes on you. So Ryan, what is your favorite national park then? Yeah, you know, for a long time it was Rocky Mountain National Park outside of Estes in Colorado. Um, certainly cl- cl- close relatively in the backyard, about two, two and a half hours away from me. But um, and I've been to a number of Yellowstone is incredible, obviously, but I've never been to this part uh, at all ever in the country. And then so to have a couple uh, days to go explore Glacier, I'm just beside myself. Uh, the beauty of it all. It's just insane what's going on. Is it on taking there. over? Is gla- Glacier number one? It very well might, Akeley. I think it uh, might, man. I mean, just because cool. it's so new in my in, in my eyes as well. 
something I've never seen before. So it's um, it's super impressive, man. I would recommend anyone come up here. Most of the audience thinks of you as a Colorado guy, but you're from Texas. Are there national parks in Texas? I don't even, I don't know. Uh, no, Rio, there's big, uh, the, there's, there's big one Bend. on the river. Rio, Rio Grande River. Yeah, Rio Grande, Big Bend National Park, in uh, Southwest Texas. Yeah, in the Rio Grande. I've never, I've Rio never been speaking of. <laughs> yeah. I've never been to any Texas national park, so yeah. No, I want, don't don't waste your time. I'm nothing against them. <laughs> There's some really good stuff if you live in Texas, but uh, right. doesn't not uh, definitely not comparing to uh, Glacier or Yellowstone or anything. No, right, right. It's yeah. only 14 hours from St. Louis to the first um, park, whichever one it is in Texas that you would come across. So, <laughs> don't ask me that. why I know that. Why do you know that? Yeah. <laughs> My, uh, I, I don't know. My sister has been like, I'm going to go to that park. It's only 14 hours away for the last like seven years. So, but she keeps going to other ones. So, okay. okay. Well, good honor. Yes. In St. Louis, uh, the Gateway Arch, so, yeah, that Columbia is Falls, a, a, a Montana. national park. Yeah. But go ahead. Columbia Falls, Montana. Uh-oh. 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 National park. You yeah. got eaten by a bear, oh, everyone. Like- yeah. Yeah. That's the dangerous thing about uh, being outside in national on, parks yeah. is there's bears. There's bears. Oh, he's going inside. He's going inside. I was right out. I was right. That's all right. It's <laughs> making for some good podcasting okay. right now. All right, continue yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So looks like he's got a nice little cabin there. Let's see inside this. So, oh. yeah, that's my that's my story. Okay. Well, yeah, you know, it's a zebo I'm in, man. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Is that a yeah. yurt? Just a nice little gazebo here. It could be a yurt as well. Yes. Yeah. It could be a yurt. So. Yeah. I don't think it it looks for, for the audience. It looks like what you'd expect it to be. Kind of knotty pine on the walls, uh, just like you'd anticipate. Uh, it looks like a forty-seven room cabin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very cool. Nope. It's just a one room. Just myself here. Fine. So. Yep. Okay. Yeah. On that note, guess what, gang? It's time to drink. What is everyone drinking? Let's start with Becca. Becca, what do you got there? I have got some Leo- Leopold Brothers, uh, the three chamber rye whiskey that my husband couldn't find right. on the walls here. He didn't think it existed, but here it is. Okay. That's solid. That's solid. Might be enough. I've got uh, Michter's Toasted. Michter's Toasted. Decent, but the squeak overtook it. So that's uh, not uh, not not anywhere near enough to take over what Becca did there. Is that the one from the Bourbon Festival? Yeah, that's Bourbon Festival one. Yeah, I just picked this one up, so it's relatively new. So, yeah, second pour out of there. All right. Uh, Ryan, you're next, man. Got to give a shout out to my friends down in Big Fork, Montana. With the old whistling Andy. Okay. The old about whistling a, Andy. About an hour, uh, well, 45 minutes south of uh, Columbia Falls. That's right. Oh, hey, that's one of your better ones. We could hear it for once. Not as good Damn, as Becca's, but, but that was solid. That was solid. Also not looks not like bad. a very tall bottle, too. Might, that might be. Yes. That's yeah. a tall, tall ass bottle. Looks like a liter. With it. It's got to be a liter, no, right? No, it's a 750 mil. Really? It looks, it looks like exactly like the like, like the Leopold one, like yep, this. That's what I was gonna say. That, uh, it's and this is a leader, but yeah. Well, yours is bigger than mine, Akeley. I guess. Hey now, hey now. It's been confirmed. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Darren, your last but not least, what do you got there, man? I have some mythology ten-year-old rye. Okay. Okay. Also solid, but not enough to beat Becca's. Becca Ooh. came out of the gate firing. So cheers. Cheers. All right, we'll take a quick break, and then when we come back, we're going to be putting some prices out there uh, about what uh, we're willing to do for Costco, and uh, we'll see if they reach out to us. We'll do that in just a few. Okay, let's talk about the people that make these shows happen. First up is the Stave and Thief Society. Via their in-person class at Moonshine University in Louisville, Kentucky, the Stave and Thief Society is the place where you, a bourbon enthusiast, can expand your knowledge and emerge an executive bourbon steward. In 2017, I completed my executive bourbon steward certification. 
It's the most comprehensive bourbon certification available and connects you with an expansive network of bourbon enthusiasts and professionals. Check out the full listing of in-person and online certifications and join the society today by enrolling at staventhief.com. Speaking of executive bourbon steward certification, the ABV Barrel Shop in St. Louis, Missouri has developed a unique partnership with the Stave and Thief Society to offer a preparatory class to assist you in getting your executive bourbon steward certification. This prep class costs only $25 and is available to take live or online via Zoom. Graduates of our class receive a coupon code good for 15% off your executive bourbon steward certification held in Louisville, Kentucky. This saves you almost $90. Additionally, you can collaborate with fellow attendees to split travel costs when you go to Louisville. If you're interested in signing up for the class, simply head over to abvbarrelshop.com and check out the classes and events page. Last but not least, we are sponsored by Neely Family Distillery. Royce Neely is the 11th generation distiller and one of America's oldest distilling families. A visit to Neely Family Distillery takes you through family history, where you can see all the artifacts and newspaper clippings through the years from this family that started distilling in America after James Neely arrived from Northern Ireland in 1740. Today, Royce Neely and his team are crafting some of the best spirits in America. Their bourbon and absinthe offerings keep winning top honors in the spirits competitions. Recently, their absinthe made history as the first platinum winner in the absinthe category at the San Francisco Spirits Competition. Neely Family Distillery is definitely a bucket list destination if you are a bourbon fan. Learn more about their spirit offerings, visiting their facility, and the awards they have collected over at NeelyFamilyDistillery.com. And now, back to the show. Break. What, uh, uh, small talk, Darren? You got something? Uh, yeah. That sounds like it's going to be horrible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I still haven't thought of anything. <laughs> and you're listening to the Bourbon Daily. <laughs> Welcome back to the Bourbon Daily. Today we're talking Costco prices. Yes, we are. So, let's let's put some dollars to, to things. So, yeah, what do we got? I would say if they want me to start like a small talk story, like I was at Costco the other day and, uh, you know, someone, or, or, so that would be, I'd say I'd do that for 250 bucks. That's, that's, that's a $250 ask right there. So, so, and it could be anything. It could be like, what's your favorite dessert? And I'll be like, well, I was at Costco the other day and I, <laughs> I kind of forgot. I, I like, uh, I, I like a, a bunt cake. So I picked up a bunt cake at Costco. By the way, the prices there are great. You know, it would be, it would sound like that. That's, that's what I'd be saying. And that's going to, that'd be 250 bucks Costco if you want me to do something so like that. For so for how we'd phrase it for a article? Uh, well, this would just be on the show. This is on the show stuff. So, yeah. So we're, we know that they're paying for articles. So I'm going to see if we can get them to start oh. paying for some podcast stuff. So, yeah. Should I look up real prices? <laughs> <laughs> you, you can do your own personal quote here. So, yeah, it's whatever you want to come up with. I mean, what, what do you think you're worth for something? Yeah. yeah. I think I would say $50 and a bag of Cheez-Its or for, Cheetos. For doing what? Cheetos. We got a Costco size bag of Cheetos per uh, engagement. Per engagement. Per engagement. Yeah. So like per view. <laughs> sure. Sure. <laughs> well, per I, oh, however many times they want me to say it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So they're like a, a recurring deal because it would be the best they can get. Checks, unlimited checks, and you you just try to drop Costco in like fifty times in a show because you're getting paid fifty bucks mm. every time. Okay. We'll see. Yeah. And, and for an article, I, I had a good answer for this, even though that's not what we're answering. Um, it would be $75 a word. <laughs> Minimum 350 words. <laughs> What's that? Is that an article or a sentence, Darren? We, d we don't even know he can write. So, yeah, well, yeah. that would be interesting. So, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. 300 word minimum for 75 words. Yeah, what's that? Twenty two thousand dollars? Yeah, they're gonna give him twenty two k for an article. No, <laughs> you're thinking the wrong way. So, so here'd be another good one. Um, we just did a cork pop. I instead, I, I talked about my Michters being from the Bourbon Festival. Oh, he doesn't need to know that. I could be like, uh, here's a here's a uh, uh, toasted bourbon I picked up at Costco the other day. Mm -hmm. uh, for that, it's just a single mention. I would do that for that's one hundred fifty bucks. 
150. Yeah, I think, I think that's appropriate. Yeah. That's I could have said I got my three chamber rye from right. Costco. Right. Uh, I saw that they have quite a they, they they have lots of it at Costco. There's actually a whole pallet of it. Uh, and if you go in there right now, uh, <laughs> right. you can get a bottle of it for uh, 49.99. Right. And then people listen and be like, "Well, that's bullshit. It wasn't there when I went there." And I went there. That, be like, "No, we recorded in advance. You forgot. Mm -hmm. you, you forgot we're not doing this live, folks." Yeah, it sold out. It sold out. Of course, it's so that price. So me so saying that, stuff. and we know that when I say something, it, it gets it gets draws the people in, Steve. We've mm -hmm. seen it with the uh, with my my pick of. Oh my, yeah, we uh, do it every year. Every the year, spiced we, the spiced yeah. pear. Yeah. You know, so I I would say that uh, just saying that they should probably pay me three thousand dollars. Three thousand dollars. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just for one drop. Out there. Yeah. I mean, that's this a, a pallet right. there. Three chamber right. rye. Yeah. I mean, that, granted, they're not right. going to make any money because no one's going to go there and find it. But yeah. But if you get them in the door, they can get them with a, any exactly. a, everything else at Costco. Come on. And also, like yeah. people are going to sign up to get Costco cards. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's true. Although Ryan, you can any, buy any... alcohol at Costco without a Costco card. You can. Just don't forget that, folks. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I and think uh, that um, Costco reserves, I don't know what the percentage is, call it 10%, where they can have uh, play with the locally uh, made products. And so it certainly comes in handy when you're talking about alcohol and distilleries. And so we could throw out any brand out there and then be like, oh, well, sorry, I guess your local one's not carrying it, which is, you know, and takes responsibility off of our shoulders. Or, yeah, they had it last week and not this week because uh, we did our job here and it uh, sold out. Sold out, <laughs> And yeah. so – um, boy, there are some influencers out there that really like to quote high prices and um, <laughs> think they're going to move the needle. And uh, I don't think they do necessarily, but um, throwing out arbitrary numbers out there, hell, let's just call it five grand a pop, right? You know? To, to do what? Like a, I think per episode. Costco, per a whole Costco episode. We can, talk about, we can walk the show. Five grand would be aisles. nice, yeah. That'd be nice. <laughs> we can walk the aisles, talk about whole, the different whole selections episode. they have there. Whole episode dedicated to Costco, 5K, 5K. Yeah, yeah. Here's what I want to throw out there, and uh, it's going to be a low quote for them. This is going to be good, I think. Uh, every time I podcast, I'll wear a Costco hat. I will always wear ABV Network or Barrel Shop, and I'll do that for $500 a year. Knowing that we don't typically release uh, video, but a lot of people take photos uh, of us while we're really? podcasting that mm -hmm. are on the thing and post on social media. So there will be some play there. Video. But, yeah, and sometimes we do post videos, so I'll say five hundred bucks. I'll do that for that's that's pretty low. But pretty Steve, low. what about when Costco finds out that you call them a cult? Uh, well, the, are they, you going to retract those statements? Will you delete those? <laughs> <laughs> are you going to delete those podcasts? I would only delete my take on Costco for twenty five thousand uh, yeah, dollars. <laughs> if they give me twenty five k, I'll be like, oh, there's a, a cult. I, what was I thinking? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh. clearly they just have low prices. Right, <laughs> right, and bulk <laughs> items. Yeah, yeah. So. See, I think the cult mentality is why they're writing these articles. It's because yeah. people think Costco is the next best thing. And so they're like, oh, right. If I write Costco in the article, more people are going to click it because Costco is amazing. Does That's anyone true. here have a Costco card? No. No. Mm -mm. I've got a Costco card because I buy stuff for the motel and restaurants at it. So. Whoa. Cult member. Motel and restaurants. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cult member. Let's say him all his businesses. <laughs> He's yeah, uh, my, my my hotel, my yeah, restaurants. Yeah, so I do I do shop there for uh, the business. Yes, really. I'm sure I'm sure Ryan is going there shopping for the business. Yes, yeah. I'm sure it's him. I'm sure I'm he's sure walking him. in there with a fucking cart. Do, 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 do. Yep, yeah, I'm sure. I'll take a picture next time. To you guys with the middle finger in the air. Okay. Yeah, I want to I want to yeah. see a selfie of you. I can't at, wait to see that. You. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> That'd be good. When I get done hanging out here in. Uh, uh, Glacier National Park. Okay. I think that if we talked about Costco enough and how great the prices were, that we could start advertising for that. They probably pay us for advertisements. Steve. Okay. Then they just become a, a regular advertiser. Yeah, they become so. a like they like and and make sure to check out Costco for great deals on bourbon. Yeah, yeah. So so check out tomorrow's episode. We're just going to read through all the prices of everything that we have at our local Costco. <laughs> that, that will be, be a that will be a great show. Right, that will be a great show. Just reading prices. Yeah. Super exciting. Yeah, for forty nine dollars, you can get two refrigerators. That that's the attitude the whole oh, time. We're even getting outside of bourbon. Yeah, okay. Two we're gonna read them the entire list of everything they have in the store. Everything there. they have. Yeah, yep. that's that'll be good. That's a long podcast. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good price on refrigerators, though. I might go shopping. Right, <laughs> two for forty nine. So uh. yeah, 
$49.99 or $49.00? No, $49. Just $49. Oh. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. they're a fridge for ants. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For $100, I would wear a pair of Costco underwear every time I record. Now, no one would know that because I don't show my underwear on the show. Uh, but they could have the, 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 the knowledge of knowing it's, it's on there. So, yeah. Let it be some some you know maybe subliminally is, the audience knows is like, there costco oh. branded underwear i don't know i don't have a costco card but i'm guessing there is they have like kirkland everything else right so i'm sure it's like kirkland but i underwear. don't think it says costco on, like across well, the crotch well but it'd be cooler if it did, i'm not honestly. showing it anyway it's i'm just it's just like when they put subliminal messages in songs or movies uh you know it's the same thing it's like you don't directly see it but somehow it absorbs into you It'd be, my underwear <laughs> would uh would absorb into the the people as they're as they're i don't listening. want to know how that's going to absorb into us but... <laughs> steve i don't want your underwear absorbing into me i, I, I pass i'm good <laughs> That's a cheap one, hundred bucks. Uh, plus, I got to provide the underwear, of course, too. So. Oh, of course. Yeah. From now on, Costco will provide your underwear for the year, and you can throw it away when you're in Key West. Yeah, and people exactly. Will see the underwear in Key West. In and you Key throw West. It away. Yeah, yeah. It's great advertisement for the dumpster people. Right. Yeah. Exactly. And, yeah. Because they'll see how trash. how what good quality the underwear were, and they'll go, exactly. "Where are these from? Why did this man throw them away? Right. My God, they're from Costco!" Right. <laughs> I didn't like how wide Becca's hands were apart when she showed my underwear. She's like, "Look, <laughs> I tried to make them smaller." As right. I like like this, I was like, "Oh." <laughs> <laughs> she had them up like this. Eventually, first it was huge. <laughs> I I wasn't really thinking about it. <laughs> it was goddamn ridiculous. <laughs> I didn't think about it till after I had my hands yeah, up. Look, I was like, okay, oh. Steve's underwear. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> Sorry, Steve. Any Anything else you guys want to throw out there to try to get some of that Costco money? I mean, there, here's uh, your chance. I will wear a Costco hat at the distillery uh, for $300 a week. Okay, $300 a week. I'll post up in front of a Costco and do and record there with Costco's sign behind me. Oh. I mean, call it 750 bucks for that. I think that's probably pretty legit. <laughs> 750 so. bucks. That's good yeah. money. That's good right? money if you get that one. So good luck <laughs> with that, Ryan. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I think, so. I think it's fair. Social media post of Ryan in front of a Costco. 750 <laughs> yeah. bucks. 750 bucks. I mean, that's I what you have to do when you're a billionaire. Yeah. You can't you be know, settling for right. these He's not deals. getting out of bed for 50 bucks for something like that. No, no. 750. <laughs> uh -uh. I think High that price. um all of our plans wouldn't work because I don't think I've ever seen Costco support any of these things that we've said. Uh, <laughs> I think we'd have to resort to like social media posts and write ups and things like that. And as far as I know, Steve is the only one that's good at doing those things. So mm -hmm. Steve is the only person here that is capable of making that Costco money. <laughs> Costco money. <laughs> oh, oh, well. My, my my history with Costco might uh, prevent me from. Uh, yeah, that's the only I problem. Have, I've, I've got a bad history with Costco, so yeah, yeah. So uh, the we'll only see. issue. We'll see. Hey, <laughs> Costco, it's out there now. We threw it out there, and uh, it's it's on you now. We've done what we want. Uh, we're willing. We're yeah, we're willing. So we'll see what happens. So there you go. On that note, we're going to wrap this one up as we always do by talking about where people can find us. Darren, we'll start with you. Where can people find you? You can find me on Instagram at the Bourbon Adventures. All right, Ryan. Across all socials at 10th MTN Whiskey and our website's 10th Whiskey.com. That's 10th Whiskey with an E. All right, Miss Becca Sue. You can find me on Twitter and on Instagram at Miss Becca Sue, 1K, no C's. For me, I'm an easy guy to find. I'm at Steve Akeley, Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. I've got a website, steveakeley.com. We've also got a company website. I think it's going to be abvnetwork.com. Check it out. Everything that we do is out there. Previous shows, blogs, so much more, abvnetwork.com. Come by and see me, the ABV Barrel Shop, the place where you can try before you buy, as featured on Bruzel. Check us out online, abvbarrelshop.com. <laughs> Miss Becca Sue, anything else to say before we get out of here? I just like to remind the audience to please give us a five-star review that includes comments. It helps two people find the show, which is very important to us. If you like what we're doing, we ask you please visit our Patreon page at patreon.com backslash the ABV network. Great job today, gang. For audience, we'll have a brand new show for you tomorrow. Looking forward to that. Until then, take care, everybody. See ya. Bye, all. See you guys.
Before we let you go, let's talk about one last thing. The ABV Barrel Shop in the St. Louis community of Arnold, Missouri. The ABV Barrel Shop is focused on a couple of things. First of all, single barrels. We are the place where single barrels live. We go to distilleries, taste through the whiskey, select the best barrel, and have it shipped to our store where we present it to you, our customers, by allowing you to try before you buy. We're also known for the classes that we have in our education center in the store, as well as the events we have with industry professionals from the bourbon business. If you are in the St. Louis area, please come by and visit us at 6 Fox Valley Center in Arnold, Missouri. Or at a minimum, at least sign up for our email and text distribution so you know exactly what's going on in our shop over at abvbarrelshop.com. This is Steve Akeley, owner of the ABV Network, signing off. We thank you for listening to our programming and truly appreciate your support. The Bourbon Daily is part of the ABV Network. For more information or to become a sponsor, please visit abvnetwork.com. Thanks for listening and cheers. This has been a Steve Akeley production.